Hello everyone and welcome. After a little a little bit of delay, we are back with new video and um, I would like to share with you guys why there was a delay in my videos. Uh, the reason was that I um, I've opened a new shop and I'll do uh, maybe a, a short live will do a video a quick you know just you know a review of my lab here and to share with you guys and. Um, a new address so um, here we have with a new video about uh, the mailbox that I got in my mail uh, a lot of them I some of them I opened it up but you know um, but I think that they can be useful for you so let's start up with the um, with this one this is a CPU um, it is let me show it's Intel it's Intel um, Xeon processor and um, I bought it from AliExpress and it, it works well. It's I bought it from just you know, but just for testing purposes. It's on 13 and 66, uh, you know, socket, and um, we don't have it here in Baku, so I ordered it from the AliExpress. The second part I, I want to I would like to share with you is this is a EOBD2 you know programmer. Uh, uh, it's, it's called also Galeto 1260 uh, uh, with multi language EOBD tuning tools. So, this is about programming and writing, you know, software to car ECUs, electronic control units. All you have it, you know, the 12 power, power supply and your actual OBD, OBD you know, uh, socket. With USB inter interface that can is this a USB 2 that can next to your lap laptop computer, and we have a CD with a software in, and uh, this software is installed on computer uh, computer you know under the micro um, I think it works under Windows Microsoft Windows operating system, so you can write and read from car electronic unit control unit you know f uh, software of the flash. This is a think a very useful tool who wants to you know repair and work with uh, cars. So another tool is about cars as well. This is you know a di diagnostic interface and let me open it up and show you. This is as you see OBD2 OBD2 diagnostic interface. This it works with Bluetooth and it's you know based on let me see. Let me find out the name of the chip. It's no, I can't. It, I can't say it by the heart, but you know, it's very important. So the name of the chip is. It's coming soon. Yeah, here we are. So the name of the chip is PIC eighteen F twenty five K eight. This is the original uh, one point five version of the chip, and it works very well with most of the cars modern cars I mean so it's you know just you know you put it you put it on on the car here we are you know OBD interface and you connect it via USB so we have we should have a we don't have it here so I think you scan this uh, you scan this you know um, QR code and it takes you to a website where you where you download the software that connects to this uh, device and reads the codes that's on your car. So uh, it's a very useful tool when you want to make a you know a quick say quick testing or quick, quick checking what's going on on your car. The last parcel is the chip chip that I want I would like to share with you. This is. This is this is the chip is yeah yeah this is just the right right package. This is seventeen uh, seven sixteen seventy eight UPC six, uh, sixteen seventy eight chip. It's a very use. Uh, I I look I use it a lot in you know in boards like this. This is uh, um, from Panasonic Acoustic Optic Modulator. And I use it a lot and here we are with the you know new packages it's you know it's not cheap cheap one but you know chips I think ICs are very nice I'll uh, I'll test it I'll put it some on this board and test it and 
uh, we'll review it or if you will comment back on the comments below so here we are with a new video a short video that um, I think that will be useful for you and as I said maybe uh, in a short Shortly, I will do a review of my new lab and show you what's going on here. And I think you will like it. So, until next time, bye for now.